What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Level With You show. My name is Wiley Olmstead, and this week I am joined by the Sub-Zero hero, Danny Castro. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? The do artistic one, Anthony George. The world is ending. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Hey, how's it the going? The Phantom producer himself, Tyler Hadley. Hey, everybody. It's, it's the quarantine gang coming at you. Quarantine gang coming to you from Springfield, Massachusetts. The coronavirus has hit our shores, and things are looking a little bit more dire. Each hour, it seems like everything's closing. Um, Liquor stores, restaurants, schools. There's no TP for my bunghole. Yeah, everybody wants to. It's worse than trying to buy Amiibos when they were first launched and they got popular. You can't find TP anymore. That's what this is making you think of? I do. A lack of Amiibos. Lack of Amiibos. I mean, <laughs> we have like decent Amiibos now, but like, remember when Smash 4 was just taking off and everyone was like, I gotta get that Villager Amiibo and then its price went up to like 200 USD. Wow. Yeah. For original print. I think it's still up there too, which is nuts. That is crazy. So yeah, we, um, you know, the whole social distancing thing, keeping now uh, the recommendation is not to gather in crowds of larger than 10. Uh, there's only four of us. We, we had a little back and forth on whether we were going to do this remotely. We have done the show uh, over Skype before. We decided to at least do it for this week. Um, and See what next week holds. Yeah, see mm. what next week holds. We're trying to interact with the chat more, have a little bit more of a laid back and, uh, I don't know, interactive podcast, something that the community can engage when engage with other than just watch i think we had a pretty successful first go about it last week oh yeah you guys i think so for yeah, sure really great take your mind off all this corona chaos and just hang out talk about shit cool shit bad talk, shit talk about mm, drinking shit coronas <laughs> drinking coronas yeah i mean uh i'm drinking all types of stuff the past few days you got it you, yeah. you, you can't let it stop it, what, was, what was your grocery list you sent us last time um, uh absolute wine Gym. Uh, PBR. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some PBR, some Sam Adams, some uh, Absolute, some Jim Beam. Some. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you go, it's okay. Hey, it's, don't, don't, go, baby. don't worry about and it. This is tell, me when to, tell me when to stop. <laughs> no, I, I think they don't need to know them all. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys don't need to know them all. No, but I got to buy more Sour Monkeys. Yeah, I mean, it's I've been kind of, I think I was a little bit of ahead of the curve, especially on the toilet paper. I, I didn't hoard, don't at me bro i mean like I, I got a 24 pack which is something that a lot of people get like that's, that's I, get, I got a 24 pack on a regular yeah, yeah i so my usual is 12 just because i'm like eh, i don't want to spend 15 dollars on toilet paper but, yeah right you know got a lot of gunk coming out then i don't want to clean it up i like i like catching it when it's on sale oh yeah unfortunately it wasn't when i did it last time because sometimes big Y will you know i don't mm -hmm. go, i'm gonna buy the expensive brand so mm -hmm. sometimes when they drop the buy one get the get the second one free pack mm -hmm. like i'll go and get Two twenty packs and I'll be done for like three months. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. Just have it set up. It's, but it's like how how much we're we gonna need for like two weeks? It's like you're not gonna use more than you normally do. Hopefully, yeah, unless you, you get really bad diarrhea. So how are you guys been doing with your prepping? Are you freaking out? Are you taking it day by day? What's the status of your of your pantry, of mm. your liquor cabinet, of your whatever your? I mean, I, I'm definitely most concerned about the food situation. Um, I mean, I went to the grocery store and like mobbed like all, all of the mm. the regular things that I like to buy, being like tuna fish and beans mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. It was like all all sold out. Mm. Um, so yeah, I kind of had to get, get creative. Which I, one I are went, you going to? Uh, the Aldi's right down the street here. Okay, they they and stock up every night though. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I might end up going early tomorrow. I would recommend that my my boy is a trucker for Aldi's, mm -hmm. so he practically sent sent me the, the personal message like, we stock up every we're, we're stocking the stores nightly. I would yes. recommend you go in at, at, or in the morning when they open. Mm -hmm. Like thank first you for, thing, thank you for the info, my good sir. Yeah, thank yeah. you for the heads up. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm a little low on the pantry side. I gotta restock on the meats and the deli side of stuff. And the, that's what I was actually concerned about was like tuna. Cause I was like, Oh, I can go buy some tuna and stuff. But mm -hmm. that being a canned good and something that can last a little longer, I'm sure that's exactly a hot commodity right now. Yeah, yeah. We did. When we were shopping, I don't know. Elena's always insisting on the not cheap tuna. She doesn't like the She's concerned about the sustainability of it. And, and mm -hmm. just thinks that the cheap stuff is, is not good. I don't mm -hmm. mind it. She's afraid there's dolphins in it. Maybe. I don't Ooh. Know. Oh, the dolphins Ooh. taste amazing. 
<laughs> what's the so what's, wait, 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 what's the cheap stuff? Is it the bumblebees? Yeah, the, uh, okay. yeah, bumblebee. And, I, I like uh, the bumblebee. Bam! I feel like I've been living my life. Off of bumble, a bumblebee. Oh, I love yeah, bumblebee. Totally. So you'll get like the yellow fin, Woo! or like it's it's like two fifty a can. I've never even heard ballers. of two fifty a can. Yeah. Like, big like, oh my god! Ballers like out bumblebee here. size cans. <laughs> yeah. Wow! I don't even see like well, yellow tail. That's, that's yeah, the yellow, line, right? Yeah, no, you don't see that because it's out of our price range. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's true. Don't look for it. I'm like. We, right. we subconsciously block it out. Mm-hmm. It's just like the we see the price and it, the can doesn't exist. It's just one of those battles true. that I don't choose to have. No, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, you know that's what? Totally I fair. would battle that tuna battle every single yeah, day. I would. I'd be like, babe, do you want to buy a house someday? Stop buying 250 tuna. <laughs> <laughs> every can you buy could be put towards our unborn children's college funds. <laughs> yeah, but are you going to want to eat really nice tuna now or... We're about that later. We might not exactly. even be there. Maybe schools might not even be open. Yeah. But then <laughs> they say that there may not even be tuna if the overfishing continues in 20, 30 years. Oh, shoot. So, like, so enjoy it, it now. I guess. I don't know. We don't have to talk about tuna for too long. But... <laughs> tuna long. I... <laughs> I like the serpent. Tuna that, long. I like that, uh, you know, bringing it back to video games, one of my favorite characters in Donkey Kong Country was riding that swordfish. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Man was swordfish. ahead of his curve. He was ahead of his curve. He was like ahead of the times. Well, that tuna, oh, that swordfish is good. Gosh, I don't think I've ever had swordfish. Honestly, they could. It's okay. It's pretty they, good. You know what's going to happen, right? These yellow, yellow tail cans, they're going to start putting the, the bumblebee tuna into it, right? Because they're so they, because and then start faking people out. You're gonna be paying two fifty for the tuna we've been enjoying for a dollar twenty five. Chicken of the sea. Is that is that a lot? That's lobster, right? The chicken, no, of, the chicken sea? of the sea. That's tuna. That's Ooh. tuna too. Yeah. That's just a brand. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. such a that's, funny name for a brand, right? Like yeah. Chicken of the sea. Like mm. lobster used to be so common, and now it's a delicacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. You guys know about that Shark Tank company, the Cousins Lobster, mm-hmm. that they they go around places. Uh, they're yeah. like a food truck that. Pops up at breweries and stuff like that. People think that they're amazing. They're totally sustainable, and that they're you know they're seventeen ish dollars for a lobster roll, which is pretty standard. But apparently, they're amazing. And uh, I don't think I've ever had. One. I see that events on Facebook Ooh, all the time. They're delicious. I actually had a cousin's lobster food truck in Houston, Texas, and it was good. It was good. Yeah, was it was really good. Was it good? Good or just good? It's like it was good. I mean, it's as good as you get lobster up up north from a food here. truck. That's cool. I like yeah. that. I need more yeah, seafood. They, they you, know, you know what I'm looking forward to? McDonald's lobster rolls. Oh, my uh, God. Well, That's... Those are a thing. I've never had an, one. Un, an underappreciated delicacy. Is it good? Decent enough. What are $10. They're like 10 bucks or so or yeah. 8 bucks. 8 bucks around that. It's like nine, nine something. Okay. Isn't it like a hot dog roll? It, yeah. Listen, right <laughs> there. Hot dog roll, mayonnaise. People, people scoff at it. Oof. I hear people be like, "What? You ate a McDonald's lobster roll?" I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> the best imitation lobster yes, you'll ever did. have. Fucking amazing!" While you're spending 17 bucks, I had this shit. I didn't even know the difference. Let's say it I'm went in and came out my yeah the same way. It's, <laughs> it looked the same. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. Didn't we chew? <laughs> Actually, no. That's good. No, it's a good point because I can start with that, and then if I have that, that's a good starting. It's, and place. then you work with your, work if, yourself up. Yeah, and then if I ever have the two brothers one or whatever, it's what is it? Yeah. So brothers cousins. don't starve together. Cousins. Oh right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. A plague tale. Sorry. Exactly. A plague tale. Yeah, a plague tale's lobster roll. A lot of brother and sister games we've been playing. These are brother and brother. It's been kind of a fun dynamic to see mm-hmm. over the last several months. But if you didn't know, this is a weekly video game podcast where we all get together and talk about you guessed it, video games. We do have some video game related things to get to, uh, including. Some streams we did this week. We had another good Super Smash Sunday. Not quite as popping off as the one before, but still a good time. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties at the beginning. We did. So uh, that was kind of unfortunate. I, I do apologize that I didn't. I, I only made a brief appearance. You know, I know everybody comes out to watch the best of the crew. I was having some <laughs> internet difficulties. I was able, able to smack the one guy that was giving you guys a hard time. Got him out of there with his, mm-hmm. you know. We fit trainer and then I just struggled. Oh, he was really good. Why? Well, I forgot about that. I, I I struggled with the with the internet afterwards, and you know I'll, I'll make my return to hey, Sunday. It's okay. It's I knew you were scared of me playing my Lucas. It's all right. You, you know, don't have to, it's okay. it, it did look a little intense, and I was I, the fear was set into me, and I was just glad Comcast didn't come through with the internet. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's true. That is an asterisk, and that W. We can put yeah. a pen in that. Come back to it. We'll, well have to. We'll have to. We'll have to, we'll have to rematch that. It's true. 
So uh, that was a good time, and we do that every Sunday. You can tune in around 7 o'clock, and we go for approximately three, four hours, something like that. Uh, you can always join in and play with us. We're not very good, so feel free to. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Speak for yourself. I'm getting nasty at this point. Somebody talking I'm, about TP in the chat, I see. We're going to start raffling off TP in the chat. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, that is a good idea. <laughs> I'll roll. Here, Here you go. go. I don't know if we'll get to you, but. Speaking of. Um, the coronavirus and stuff we unfortunately had to postpone our upcoming tournament that we were hosting with uh focus springfield um it was supposed to be april 2nd we're working on a makeup date right now uh, if you were registered and would like a refund you can contact us if you're unable to make the date that we uh, reschedule it to mm -hmm. so yeah it's a big bummer um but it's the safe thing and it ended up being the legal thing so yeah the best thing that we can really do at this point uh you know, yep. we'll push it back. Not totally gone. Still gunning to have it. We just have to set up the new date for it still. And once that's worked out, we'll be sure to let you guys know. Yeah. And maybe this way we can and better than ever. Yeah, and exactly. faster and stronger and more lightweight and a little more aerodynamic. And maybe if you're lucky with a lobster roll. We got more time to get good now. It's true. Yeah. So maybe one of us is just going to sneak in and compete. We'll have a we'll put on a mask. I'm going to be nasty. Yeah. I mean, Kenny, you're the one that's, you're not going to be announcing. Or, or actually, no, you're going to be, we're going to be switching out. I think we talked about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. going to give you one of those little, uh, those masks from Legend mm -hmm. of Zelda, the Pikachu oh, mask. I have a, I have a wrestling mask. Like, uh, like, um, Ray Mysterio. Yeah. I have one of those. Hell yeah. I'll go switch in the bathroom, switch out my shirt and everything and put the mask on and okay. go compete. Yeah. Nacho Libre. Got to have an identity out there. Hell yeah. Forger, you'll be the next Sonic Fox. <laughs> we'll pull the yeah. mask off, my persona. <laughs> yeah. Persona. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of doing, just wearing my uh, persona Joker mask that I get. In oh, my, uh, that's awesome. Collector's edition. That'd be pretty good. That would be sick. Speaking of which. Me. You'll never see it coming. We got a bunch of games <laughs> coming out this week. Oh, my God. Uh, why don't I just move on to that segment now? So this has been sort of a slow start to the year. We last year started off right out the gate with like Resident Evil 2 anthem for despite its failings was a big game there was other stuff and, and this year it's been maybe a few indie things here or there but now the tsunami's coming so we got animal crossing new horizons we got doom eternal we got neo 2 and let's see was there one other one that i put in here uh no so what do you guys think? Where's Animal Crossing at on Metacritic? I know you can see the screen, so. Uh, I want to say Animal Crossing's probably a 91. 91? Mm -hmm. Okay, good guess. That's what it is. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right. So here's some quotes from uh, different outlets from IGN. Animal Crossing New Horizons is an expanded, polished, next-generation reboot of a classic Nintendo game that's full of surprises. Okay, I'll take it. Mm. Destructoid, based on what I've been able to experience, it's what I've wanted Animal Crossing to be for many years. And from Telegraph, with a game this broad and lengthy, there's more to discuss than I can fit in one review. But suffice to say, this is a game that Nintendo have clearly worked incredibly hard on to get right. It shines at every moment, from the wind rustling through the trees, to the sunset glinting off the water, to the jaunty tunes at the start of the day, fading into more relaxing melodies in the evening. Add dozens of much-needed quality of life features, Low player customization, auto save, couch co op, and eight player online play. And it all adds up to the perfect DIY recipe for the most chilled out, relaxing, and engaging life simulator ever. Dang. That's a hell of a paragraph. That is. That, like that, reading yep. that one alone was like, okay, maybe. Maybe I do need to pick this maybe one. Maybe I do up. need to buy this game. The only thing I'm worried about is that it, it happens with every Animal Crossing 2. I think maybe, except for the very first one um, that I played after that, is that you, you, know, you get the game the first day. You, the first day you're doing it, you go, you get introduced to everybody, all your townsfolk or whatever. And then you're like, okay, cool, here's your starting house or whatever. All right, now you've got to pay off your debt or whatever that you're going to do for this game. And it's like, go do it. And you go do it. And there's only like, you pretty much get locked at a certain number of things you can do per day. At least in my experience on the older ones. That's, so that's kind of the way I am, anticipate them being. I think they're a game that the creators want you to play a little bit every day instead of a lot for a weekend. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, kind of bit, rather than like binging it all at once. Exactly. Yeah, Anthony, you can't just lay in bed and binge it like you did Pokemon. <sighs> yeah, crazy. exactly. Not no, happening this time around. Any interest in AC for you, Kenny? He's going to have to take a back seat. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be a good one to play with your kids, though? You could, like, all be living in the same village. And, yeah. Like, yeah. It definitely would be, be a good one. Be, be a good one to pick up. Um, But you think they would be into it or it would be just like, I eh. think my, I think my son would be into it. Yeah. I think he would. Um, Not not so much my stepdaughter. I think she's a little more <laughs> Call of Duty. Mm hmm Give her, give her guns, let her, let her shoot people. Yeah, she's more action oriented. He's a little action more laid back with his. He's a little more laid back. He even at that he plays Fortnite and he's like more into creator mode and that's cool. You know, 
Garrity wants to shoot people when, when he's playing in the game. In Interesting. Game. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like he'll rather run away. Kind hearted young man. Very kind hearted. He's a Minecraft kind of guy. <laughs> yes, he is. Actually. There you go. Very Minecraft guy. Nice. Um, so this one's gonna take a back seat. Actually, I you know we'll jump into what we've been playing, but I think I'm leaning towards Doom Eternal. Oh yeah. Ooh, Hell yes. yeah! Glad to hear that. Yeah. If uh, anything, that'll be my pickup next week during nice. during pay week. So the reviews for that actually came out after I made this outline. I made the outline on Sunday. I didn't quite update it like I should, but I think I have this here. Uh, Doom Eternal Metacritic. You know, the, Doom can play on, like, I've seen a lot of videos now around that, like, Doom can pretty much play on anything. Like, you can put yeah. Doom on any platform anywhere. Well, you're, you're talking about the original. Original Doom, yeah, <laughs> like, original Doom. I think Doom, they just put, what is it, the collection, like, 1 through 3? Like, Doom 1, 2, and 3 on Switch? I believe so, yeah. That too? That, that looks nuts. There's a lot of, like, cool mods out for it, too, yeah. like, for the original yeah. Doom. Mm-hmm. So, next part of the review roundup here, we got Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal doesn't just set the bar, it breaks it. This is from the sixth axis. Many of the best games of the FPS genre do what has already been done, and it and it can do it really, really well. But Doom Eternal does what no other game has done before, crafting a fast-paced power fantasy that sets your brain cells on fire. I it's like that. Ad- <laughs> <laughs> I want more of that. It's an addictive exploration of the mythic Doom Slayer character that delivers hours of blood-drenched fun, dozens of memorable collectibles, and fan-pleasing storybook ended with gorgeous worlds and unforgettable music. Doom Eternal is a ripping, tearing masterpiece. That sounds yeah. awesome. Okay, so here's one more quote. Doom Eternal cranks the dial to 11, throws gas on the fire, puts the pedal to the metal, picks any cliche metaphor you want. Doom Eternal holds its Slayer horns high and proud, refining just about everything Doom 2016 did well. It's a tense, frantic, and absolutely transcendent. Doom Eternal is metal as fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they ended it with that. Yeah. I definitely would like to watch you guys play it, but I'm not like... I'm more the... Uh, I'm the laid back RPG kind of mm-hmm. like I need to feel progression that you know they gotta get that serotonin hit for the dr- that bar I need that bar increase I need those numbers to go up mm-hmm. but it's still really sexy and somebody just like jump around a level and just boom like the Doom speed run is awesome mm-hmm. for the remake oh, yeah. oh my god it's amazing I bet that would be I think it's only like an, it's either an hour or maybe 46 minutes but it's it's awesome you should check it out okay it's sick I know that I know I know I like switching between genres I mm-hmm. feel like I need variety it's good. Um, you know I think that I'm leaning towards more like, a, you know, right now juggling a couple games, but mm-hmm. I think Doom Eternal is going to be that little fix to just jump in there and Hell give yeah. me a little something I I'm, I'm don't have with the other games. I feel like we're all playing like a big video game Uno right now. Oh, yeah. We're all just, we got a whole bunch, we got a handful of different colors. We don't really know which one to kind of drop, <laughs> to stick with. And then totally. we're reversing it like, hey man, Doom Eternal, but hey, Animal Crossing looks pretty good. And you're like, shit, it does. <laughs> to hit, Draw two. About to hit you guys with the plus four. Mm-hmm. Plus four. Oh, I know God. what you're <laughs> describe like you you're kind of describing what i've been feeling anxiety about and so like i if i'm starting too many games and i don't finish them i'm like bro i need to finish a game or else it's just like I you gotta put that foot down why like that's i'm that's i'm a, i'm being the bad influence because my add is like yeah i like video games are cool every friday is a new one and i'm like oh another new video game on friday <laughs> the, the same here that's yeah. why I don't, I don't complete too many of my games but oh, i'm God. like i'm trying to set that down <laughs> like so i've been i've been you know kind of when i get take a break from warzone I will play this game. I'm yeah. like, all right, I got to get further in this game. Then I'm like, all right, did a chapter two in this game. Returning to Warzone. Mm-hmm. Back to Mayhem. Mm-hmm. Oh, break from Mayhem because I've died three straight times and I'm placing top 45. I'm only placing 45th. Back to chapters. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. That's, it's some, like a, let's some do different zen songs. to reset myself, you know? Exactly. I used to yeah. kill, like, you ever do that when you're younger? It's just like listen to one song mm-hmm. instead of the whole album and just yeah. kill that song for you. It's yeah. like listen to the whole album. Space exactly. it out. Yeah. Space there, it out. When I was a kid, there'd be albums that or songs on an album I would always skip. And then, like, a mm-hmm. few years later, I would listen to it and I'd be like, why did I always skip that song? Yep. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, just had a brain fart. Um, oh yeah, so one game that I was been tipped to, like going back and forth. I'm playing it. I'm not playing it. Was Iconoclasts, and you just finished that. Right? I just finished it. I put in six or seven hours on um, Friday and just grinded it out. Just absolutely, you know, I got stuck three times. So I was like looking it up. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't want to stop playing. Like I want to see this to the end the story in that game is really dope yeah that's that's the beefy one right like it's pretty surprisingly beefy for it's like a pretty, metroidvania it's like a final fantasy level in terms of in that's maybe a slight exaggeration but in terms of detail uh of the world of of characterization of um dramatic scenes where like 
it gets surprisingly violent. Yeah, I can see that with like the older ones, like on Super Nintendo, like Final Fantasy four or five and six, like they're mm-hmm. kind of like that. But that's what drew me to Iconoclast. Or at least I still I still have to play it, but it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Like I will say, at times I was like a little bit frustrated with how much of a brainy game it is. Mm-hmm. Um, like there, every screen you have to think. Like it's okay. never just like you're running through an, a bunch of enemies and shooting your way through. Like you'll Almost enemy, every enemy has a weak point um, okay. and, and is completely invincible otherwise. Oh, wow. So, like, you have to actually find the place to shoot the bomb. You have to you have three weapon types. Maybe only one of them is effective. Uh, and that goes the same way for almost all the bosses. You're mm. like, um, it's it's a puzzle game. Like, it, okay. it, 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 there's quick reflexes involved, like, like a typical action game. But, like, there, um, there are so many puzzles, uh, whether it's enemy, enemy or environmentally related. Um, which got a little tiresome for me, to be honest. Like, there were times where I was uh, kind of felt like I was pushing through the game just so I could, because I have this thing where I have to beat a certain amount of games. So I was. <laughs> you, were, you weren't even enjoying it. You're just like, yeah, I got to no, do this. I was plowing through it. But like, this is all business now. No more pleasure. Yep. Exactly. So the last few hours, though, were really, really cool. It's It's got the, you know, just one more thing type of thing. Um, it blows my mind that this game was made by one person. I don't think I've ever seen. Even like even taking into account Celeste and Fez and other amazing games developed by one person, this is the one that I think is the most ambitious. Okay. Um, it's got his trademark uh, person. I, I, his personality is clearly shines through in the in the writing of the characters. Like I almost feel like, you know, how I talked about it getting a little frustrating at, at times is because I'm sure that's a reflection on him and what he likes. Because mm-hmm. if he had this published by somebody, it would have been the the fat would have been trimmed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it would have been. But anyway, cool game, Iconoclast. Check it out. Check it out. Frank gets the Wiley recommendation. Ooh, nice. Wiley. Nice. Before, before we jump forward, I, a good point was pointed out. So I feel as though our crew is split in the middle when it comes to finishing games. Because mm-hmm. when Tyler starts a game, he's the type of person that just kind of obsesses and plows through it. He goes, he buys property, he gets a ring, he, he sets up the he wedding like, date, he gets married, and the honeymoon he, all within the first commits. month. He commits. I remember when we picked up Kingdom Hearts 3, mm-hmm. dude was like done a whole week before I was. Like just ran through it. You know, and you commit, oh, yeah. and you complete games. Me and and <laughs> we stockpile games. And <laughs> we're, we don't hoarders. Come, we're hoarders when it comes to games, and we have a backlog that can cover a fucking elementary school. <laughs> Literally. That's like Santa's but naughty they, list. I'm like, well, you've been a good little boy this year. Nobody. Perfect. So, yeah. so I would say in the chat, we already got one person, Snap Pablo Nader, who's the same as me and you went. So I wonder anybody yeah. else that might be in the chat if they side with us in hoarding, mm-hmm. just not beating games, or with you guys. I mean, clearly there's a superior side. <laughs> <laughs> a superior. Uh, That's us, you know. It's, 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 you it's want all... to see things to the end. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to actually be able to. There's YouTube for those videos. <laughs> that's honestly, that's what I had to do with the Aladdin game for the Super Nintendo. A little too hard to beat, but you just play Super Nintendo. You play it on YouTube. It's like you beat it yourself. Exactly. Yeah, that, and that's actually what somebody tough. said to me. Yeah. yeah but um, for sure, like, and my backlog is not small. Like, there's definitely things that I talked about on the show that I have not completed that I had every intention of completing. Mm-hmm. I.e., Earthbound, Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, Earthbound's a slog. Like RPGs are, they're like a, you gotta you gotta really love to get through sure. that that yeah. grind. I, like mm. I think that's one thing I say. Once I get into the RPG grind, I'm consumed oh, by oh, yeah. it, mm. and I'm fully diving forward. Mm-hmm. Um, other games, you know, I, I'm I'm like, oh, this is fun. I like the story, and then oh, look at the shiny new game that just came out. So you don't have yes, you don't get any sort of anxiety from like you know being six hours into a twenty hour game and just being like, yeah, it was cool. I'm good though. And, and then, Doesn't but then the, then the thing is, if I put it down for two weeks, I act like it's like if I've forgotten the controls completely and now I need to restart the game. And so I get the anxiety comes from have, feeling like I need to restart the game so I could be good because mm. I don't want to pick it up and, for, and not remember the mechanics and be frustrated. Gotcha. Okay. So I think that keeps me away from the game as well. Mm-hmm. And you're being asked, Anthony, if you're ever going to finish Bioshock Infinite. Oh, that is a very good question. I think I know who's asking that too. <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, I don't know, my son. Uh, I'd, I, I'd like to. It's, uh, actually, no, did I honestly? No, I don't. I think I specifically did not uninstall it on Steam when I was trying to make space because I want to beat it. And it's just see, I was I was coming into that game when I was just like right out of Skyrim, pretty much like oh I got to explore every nook and cranny. You don't. You don't have to do that in that game. <laughs> but I do gotta say I will go back just for Elizabeth because she's 
So just so the you sweet pie. Molto bella. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. Oh wow! I've only heard. I've been like I've tried my like best to not get it spoiled too, which is like it's really cool. I've heard I mean, it's it, amazing. It's one of the few. Ga- well, no, it's not. It's one of the, it's one of those games where after you finish it, uh, you will be up on YouTube being like, "Explain to me, I am dumb person." Need Please to- explain to me. That's what I do at the end of the lighthouse too. I was like, "What does this mean?" And it's like, "Oh, it's all Greek symbology." And I was like, "Oh, okay." End of the light. Oh, the yeah. end of the lighthouse. Yep. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because like, the lighthouse is a big factor in the. Oh, end that's of- right. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's ooh. So but I do yeah. remember the. Uh, the end of the the twisting and the twist ending in the first Bioshock is awesome. I like that a lot. It's very so. This was a much grander scale. Like that, that, that is a great twist. This mm-hmm. one is like a oh, mind fuck. Uh, that speedrun is great too. Highly recommend watching the Bioshock speedrun from GDQ of like 2019. Yeah, either 2020 uh, or 2019. Bioshock, the original. Yeah, it's okay. awesome. Cool. They do these things where you can just glitch through cutscenes. Like you can still play as the cutscenes going. Oh wow! But it's like you're still just walking around. It does like where it does the uh, what is it the widescreen? Yeah. But you can still you have total movement and everything. Like, oh, you wow. know, that part in the right in the beginning of the game when you get into Rapture and you're trying to go through that hallway and you see somebody go through there and you're about to chase after them. And then it's like that plane or that chunk of building comes down through the tube mm-hmm. and like blocks off your path there. He does it. So you just go right through it. Mm. Like he gets to it before the cutscene trigger. And so you can just go right and, and totally bypass like half the game. Holy crap. It's huh. wild. So what about you, Tyler? What are your thoughts on all this? On all, the, all these uh, finishing games and everything. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to catch you off guard. No, I've been listening. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I definitely like to finish games, but there is a handful of games that I have started and not completed. There's um, one that comes to mind that I'm a little surprised. Bloodstained? Bloodstained. Uh, <laughs> Final boss. And yeah, threw in the towel. I did. Yeah. Uh, I, I, did I did not want to go back and grind as much as I thought I had to. Okay. I don't know. I think we should get together and help you beat that, because I would like to see the ending of that. And then I can the say end. I helped beat it without right. going through the whole game. Um, I was actually thinking of of Control. I played like three hours oh. of that, and never... you you also haven't finished Sekiro. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Cool. What's, what's hilarious is that we were both like talking prior to Sekiro dropping. I was like, I'm gonna beat this before you. Tyler's like, I'm gonna beat it before you, and then. Wiley beats it, and I'm like, I haven't gotten to the first boss. I'm like, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, I see. I never <laughs> play special any Souls like Soulsborne type game because that's just. That's like something you gotta. That's like putting a down payment on a house and paying off your mortgage over X amount of years. It's like I'll get to it eventually, mm. but it's always gonna be in the back of my mind. Exactly. I mean, the one game I did go back and beat was a uh, Bloodborne. I was pretty proud of that what? accomplishment. You did? Yeah, I beat Bloodborne a while back. Really? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I would be so proud. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, I didn't. Now? I didn't beat the the DLC, but oh uh, well, still counts. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Which ending did you get? Um, I got both of them. I collected all the. The things. Okay, the, you got all the, the cords. The embryos or whatever, yeah. Don't Those you need only three to get the true ending? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and they're, all the endings are very short and... Just, yeah. It's just very hard to understand, mm-hmm. but whatever. Like, but you got to try the DLC now, man. I have tried the DLC, and it was pretty challenging. Oh, it was so I just, hard. Like, yeah, I didn't really... I summoned for a couple it. of the... Bo- I still haven't soloed. Um, I think I got to the first or the second boss in the DLC. The first one is the giant. It kind of looks like Vicar Amelia. What's his name? Lawrence. Lawrence, oh, the first Vicar. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or, yeah. He like transformed like halfway through. Yeah. He is intensely hard. And then yeah, there's Lady Maria. Man. So. Oh, maybe I did be Lawrence. What an incredible DLC. Pope Francis. Yes, Pope Francis. <laughs> John Paul. <laughs> Have you ever seen video of Orphan of Cost, the final boss? Uh, I'm sure I probably have at some point. It is a disturbing looking dude with like, I don't know. If you want to ch- check it out, check out Orphan of Cost. If you want to, it's one of the best, coolest boss fights you will ever see. Um, I beat it at two in the morning with um, the assistance of somebody from the IGN message boards. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah so. That's a good, that's a good feat. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty sick. No, I, I don't think I could do that one solo. I mean, eventually I could, but I think after about 25 attempts, we did it together. So I, I put it down. I, it's been put down for, I think four, three, four years now. Cause I got to the nightmare where you are running. You have to run past a bunch of the, like all these dudes up there and you have that, like the Stuff guy screaming out of you. Yeah. yeah. It's like the blood spikes. Yeah, that shit gets very. It's all the spiders drop down. Tough to understand. And oh like, my god. Yeah, I traded that game, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one I'm surprised they haven't made a sequel to. Like that, no, no Bloodborne two. Or... It, I think that's gonna be a PS5 game, and it's gonna be like megaton by then. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah, like gotta be coming. It's gotta. Be it would coming. be sick because this was. I mean, because this this game was amazing. I loved Bloodborne. Like that was, like, 
And I'm not a huge fan of the Soulsborne games. All Dark Souls getting 1, that but far like, is legit. I it, mean, was, it was dope. It was fun. The, the first boss was dope. Yeah, the <laughs> the was it the is it the, the hey, Celtic beast? I've, I've never, yeah. I've never, you know, my first experience was spending sixty dollars just to beat one boss and trade it back in. You know, did you even level up? I don't even know because you can level up at the first boss. I was just like, Except oh, you died at the first boss. Yeah, I was sure like, he, oh, didn't on the, he didn't beat it the first time. No, no. <laughs> I had it's a, okay. I had to get a friend, phone the friend, phone the friend. Matt. <laughs> I phoned a friend too. Wiley, well, uh, we did controller share. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we did. Right. <laughs> yep, it was good. I, that's how we beat it. And then Father Gascrane was a bitch. Oh my god, He's he took a, a while. Um, definitely one of the favorite games of the generation when all said is done for mm-hmm. me. Um, speaking of Bloodborne type games, another our final game on the review roundup this week. We got Neo Two, got an eighty six on Metacritic. It is a PS Four exclusive, masterly crafted and executed. Neo Two sets the benchmark for action adventure games. That people just have to experience. Team, Nin- Team Ninja's latest provides one of the most in-depth combat systems and an addictive loot system that may uh, put all the best dungeon crawlers to shame. It's quite simple. Neo 2 has Game of the Year written all over it. Damn. Ah. So that's from PlayStation Experience. Um, from Trusted Reviews, Neo 2 is an absolutely Herculean effort from Team Ninja that shouldn't be overlooked as we approach the busy season. They've managed to make a game that stands on its own besides some of the best from software games, a soul's like that is brimming with ambition and brave new ideas. All right, I'm not going to read the last one, but some very glowing words. I'm sure they weren't all that glowing. I did see some people saying that the loot is a little overwhelming. Mm. I don't know. Tyler, you, you, you played this game a good amount when it came out, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we played yeah. it quite a bit. I, uh, I mean, I beat it. I, I know you did. Yeah, I... <laughs> you were stuck on I, that one guy in the big flower field when I saw you play, Tyler. I forget who it was. It was like some samurai in like this big, nice, like open flower oh, field. Yeah. I mean, that happens at like the very beginning of the game. I mean, you, I, but I think you might go back and fight him. Yeah. Um, I, I honestly can't remember where I left off in that game. Yeah. What happened, Tyler, is you went on vacation when we were both playing it together. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. Yeah. You went to like Texas or something. By the time you got back, I was like, "Yeah, I already beat that," and you were like, "This is okay, funny." It's all news. Yeah, exactly. You're like, "Oh, I can't talk about it with Wiley. What's the point?" <laughs> that, that cool uh that remember one boss uh watching you fight a couple times is that big slime guy it was like this ocean slime thing oh, oh yeah, yeah. why did you have to remind me yeah. of that awful boss it looked terrible <laughs> it looked awful i died to that boss it was what was it called omu or something yeah yep oh my god this water boss on this de- oh. it was terrible i died on that 50 times it looked yeah, awful that boss terrible. Was tight. terrible it did not look fun oh my god uh okay what i'm doing now is i'm bringing up the outline on my phone but yeah, this, because... this is pretty good. I started playing uh, Collection of Mana, so that was pretty good. I wanted to actually Ooh. start going through Secret of Mana for the first time, and it feels amazing on the Switch. Does it? It's a, it's a little... I, I couldn't really get used to the... Because whenever you one of your characters attacks, you have right below your HP is like a little percentage gauge. So every time you attack, it goes from like 100 to 0, and then it fills back up. It fills up like pretty quickly, but you can't really make another effective attack until it's all the way at 100. Oh, okay. And, it's it's pretty it's for a Super Nintendo RPG originally. It's, I know it's I know we were nice. talking about that at point, one point in time. I mm-hmm. think it becomes multiplayer, right? Yeah, it does because as soon as you get your second party member, you can have somebody hop in with a second controller and they can control them too. But this is a remake, right? It's the um, it's not the remake because they made they remade Secret of Mana entirely in like 3D. I think last yeah, year it did and not it get flopped. Well received, yeah, yeah. And so this is what what is this one? Uh, it's called Collection of Mana. So it's Final Fantasy Adventure, which is like the first mana game in the mana series that came out on game boy like black and white game boy wow. and then secret of mana for super nintendo and then trials of mana which we're getting the new remake of soon yep. in 3d which never got localized until now which is pretty sweet oh that is sweet so what's the the the, the one that people love a lot that's on there yep yeah secret okay. of mana so that's like the middle title gotcha in there but it's good it's it's cool i've always wanted to kind of go through and play it myself so it's, i've always been intrigued by it as an action rpg mm-hmm. looks like you know um for an SNES era that yeah. was not very common, and mm-hmm. like f- enemies attacking in real time, and so cool. yeah, I, I, it's on the SNES Classic, I believe. It is too. Yeah, it's on the Classic, and I think it's even on. I might be wrong if it's on the Super Nintendo Switch thing. Switch app. I, th- yeah, I don't I'm know if sure. it is. I don't think it is, but um, maybe. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm looking forward to hearing your updates on that. For sure. Maybe I'll put it down. Maybe I'll come back. Who knows? I've been playing in bed the last couple nights, so it's been pretty good. So it's a nice, relaxing kind of like. Anything else keeping that switch warm and humming in, Ooh, your, in bes- your bed? Besides my body, um, <sighs> what else have I been playing? I've been playing. Uh, we played Smash the other night. Did I play anything else on that? Smash doesn't count. That's, they already it's, know. That's true. It's true. <laughs> no, I think that that's. It's been about that and uh, 
Grand Blue Fantasy still can't win a single oh, yeah. match. So tell me about your experience with like the RPG mode. Are you getting into it? Are you watching those meters go where you want them to? It's pretty good. It's it's just like I kind of know in the back of my head. It's like this doesn't count. You're not good online. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good you are in single player mode. Nobody cares about single player mode. That is so true. That's exactly. How, that's how I felt playing Dragon Ball Fighters. Yep, exactly. And I'm like, yeah. I, I suck. I got really like I tried streaming it last Thursday, and I was sitting there, and I was like, I already had like worked all day. I came home, set everything up. I was like, yeah, I'm really stoked to get into this. Played like RPG mode for maybe a level. I was like, okay, let's go into online mode and just okay. face smashed into it. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not going to stream anymore. <laughs> it broke me. Oh, you, you were streaming it? Yeah. Like that? Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. And I just got my face plowed. It was cool though. I won a couple matches, but I just got like. In what? Grand Blue. Oh, I thought you said you never won a match. No, no. I won like, a, you have to win two uh, rounds. And oh, to win a full oh, match. Okay, yeah. So okay. my bad. So I, I won. I'd win like, I started out pretty good. I won one. Uh, match and then the guy would like win the other and then I'd be really close to winning the second one and then he would just come back and that happened a whole bunch I'm like man mm, yeah that's gotta be discouraging and what I was gonna say Kenny is Bond's out now ooh he is right yeah, so I'll go up the Mortal Kombat do my thing you know <laughs> then then go back to the shadows and retire again <laughs> lurk it's just quick enough where I can not adapt to your strategies you know, <laughs> my strategy is the same strategy. I just want to point that out to the audience. Yeah, you know, well, it's it's, jump my, and shoot. it's my it's my combos, and then a lot of jumping kicks, and then uppercuts. Yeah, they, they come. It's true. It's just you know when you only get to face them three times in, in a three month span, and then you're you're, you're out. No more challenges. No more. You're just like, Listen, my I'm the king. Nothing my, you can my, do. My phone line is live. It's always it's always connected. I pay my phone bill. That's true. I guess I could reach out more too. He could challenge me. I the king doesn't challenge. You know, I don't put, I don't go seeking out the competitors. That's true. You're just watching the credits. Out. You gotta get. He's you got. Know? You gotta climb the elite four. You gotta go. You gotta I, challenge I, him. You know how I'm feeling right now because I've been playing Devil May Cry. I've, I'm feeling like I'm sitting on my throne like your reason. You know, you've been playing the new one. Yeah. Oh, nice. And, like and a... while he's coming at me like Nero mm -hmm. at the and like <laughs> so oh, at right. the beginning, you yeah, know, why'd cool. you take his arm? Like, man, come on, you know. So, Devil May Cry Five update. You uh, still enjoying it? I really haven't I'm enjoying it. I just got to the part where now I'm in control of Dante. Fuck yeah! Now the game gets good. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the game was good before, but that's the part where it honestly, really I, took off. I really felt like playing as V was OP. Like, mm -hmm. I it didn't feel like a challenge. It's boring. Like, it's so easy. It yeah. feels like combat is super easy playing as V because. I just dodge around the place and then you have your you little beast do everything. Beasts are doing everything and then and I'm S like, oh, combos. and then I'm like, oh, my bar is full. Big guy calling the big guy. And I'm like, matches uh, that battle's over. I'm like, oh, that's another on one I want to pick up is DMC three for the switch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one I want to so, get. It's it's been no good. physical edition for it though. Oh, there's no, not. No, there's oh, no that would have been dope to have a yeah. cartridge though. That that's that's why I wanted it, man. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. I don't know if I want. I, it. I was considering like twenty bucks to have that as like that would be a cool collectible someday, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's digital nope. only. Yeah. <sighs> got to check out the release. I picked up the collection on the PS4. Physical. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's not like they don't have it out there, but maybe they'll do like check out limited run games. Sometimes they do like. Uh, physical print runs of games that usually don't come out physically mm -hmm. but and, that's rare and in reality what i was gonna start doing is you know because i want to pick up some of these older like the original like not just these re-releases but mm -hmm. pick them up original for like the original consoles and yeah. i was gonna start supporting places like state line yeah and start heading over there and like pick up some of the like dmc3 yeah, they get a know, really good PS2, selection you know like, exactly yeah totally. things like that yeah. speaking um, of uh collectibles you guys see that recently Lego had announced that they're coming out with like a Mar Super Mario collection of Legos? Yeah. Really? And, I didn't yeah. really get what that was about. It's like you saw Mario and then there's like a little coin thing that like is in his chest when you push him down on something. That yeah, is so, dope. Yeah, so it's like the first time like video games Ooh. has like gotten into Lego. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, we, you could you could be seeing more things like Zelda, Lego, and ooh, we're gonna uh, things like we're gonna that. we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick up the first couple boxes and what you think? Do a video? Build them. Be, oh yeah, just build them. Let's uh, let's build. build the, uh, let's build with with Legos and Wendy's. They were gonna, <laughs> <laughs> you, you got your honey mustard on my Mario. <laughs> Tyler, they're gonna be like full on magic mushroom, mushroom kingdom. That's and like this is you can buy the whole level one one. <laughs> That'd be sick. Um, That'd be I, I'm not sure how de how deep they're going, but they have like little like figurines for like Mario and Bowser. From what I've seen, though, I have to say I'm not. And... I don't know if I'm a fan of like the way they designed them because it looks pretty much just like a like they're just fat cubes. Mm. Like they're yeah. not little Lego guys. They're kind of just like Mario's like this big square with like little arms, and he's got the Mario like little rectangle mm. head. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure how 
immediately popular they're going to be, but mm-hmm. I think they are going to be a collectible down the road. Oh, for sure. So yeah, because if it if they look that weird, they might discontinue that quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-mm. I don't know. Lego Amiibo support. I might grab one. Oh, Legos and a long. Just put it on a shelf. Imagine that Lego Amiibo support. Lego Amiibo support. I wouldn't if if the Mario those take off. I wouldn't be surprised. That will be crazy. I hope so. That'd be sick. Still waiting on my Joker Amiibo. Still waiting on my Banjo Kazooie Amiibo. All the, the uh, hopefully the Dragon Quest Hero start, Four I gonna, Pack. I was gonna start ordering some Amiibos from Japan. They, that, that's they, the way. They, that's they, the way they, they they're, that they're supported yeah. on, on the regular system. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. yeah, all of them in Japan are like any of them. That, that's how you can only get certain like Fire Emblem ones, like yep. Tiki and someone else. It's the only way you can get. Nah, uh, I've been, those I've been guys. looking into it. I'm mm-hmm. just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put them when I get them. Yeah, because I'm I'm, 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 pot, I'm I'm unbox them. Yeah. Well, that's you know sometimes you gotta do it. The Loot Goblin I just looked up too. I was curious, like thirty something bucks. I know it's nuts. I was glad I picked that up. Yeah, I'm glad you got that too. Ooh. I'm very sad. Got I didn't that fifteen dollars. Speaking of Switch and <laughs> accessories and amiibos and things like that, we had one of our friends of the show and listeners, Brendan, send us a few questions. He's a new Switch owner. Ooh, that's right. He's the first first time Switch owner or first time game console owner, I think, since what did he say? GameCube or I think it was the game. Yeah, I think it was GameCube. Yeah. So he's been out the game hey, for a while. Hey, congrats! Give him a round of applause, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to another money pit. Your mm-hmm. population, you. Welcome. He has sold his life away. <laughs> so, you won't regret it. Don't so worry. The questions that he asked: uh, What do you think is the what, number one must-have Switch game? What's the most essential accessory? And do you prefer downloading or physical copies for Switch? Why don't you take this away, Ant? Since I think Switch is your primary console. Okay. Uh, let's see. What was the first question? <laughs> the, yeah, must, must one have must-have game. game. Okay. I think I think that's unanimous. Even if we all answered that, I think that's. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, yeah. right? I don't know if Tyler would say that. He didn't. Oh, really? That's yeah, right. Tyler doesn't, doesn't care really for care it. for Breath of the Wild. Well, then what would be yours, Tyler? I must have game for Switch would be. I mean, I think I would probably have to go like the game route, and say like the Hollow Knight or something like Ooh, that. Good pick. Um, okay. That's like yeah, that really that was like probably one of my favorite games to play on Switch. And Th- that's definitely one of mine for sure. That's digital only, right? Hollow Knight. I think. Uh, no, you can get a physical, physical for Switch, I think. That's awesome. Or Shovel Knight, too, because they just came out with the Ooh, Shovel Knight That collection. is a fantastic choice. Shovel Knight. See, I think he really wanted a, an answer from all of us, so I think that's good. Mm-hmm. So you say Shovel Knight. Oh, uh, well, no. Wait, what I, are you I saying? Say, okay, so say, if you're saying Zelda... Because I haven't beat it, but I believe that's a must-have, because that's what I did with my brother. I right. absolutely think it's a must-have. I brought Same. him to GameStop. He's like, listen, I need, a, I need a Switch for the firehouse. You know, he's a firefighter. And mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, this is what you're buying. Here's the Switch. He was like, oh, should I get the light? No. You're going to get the regular Switch because you're going to start playing this game and you're going to want to play it on your 60-inch TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want the dock. Right. So the other, the, I would, if you're choosing Zelda and I have to choose a different one, I'm going to go one of two options. If you want something old school, go Sho- Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Mm-hmm. If you want something new school, Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I was just going to say, too, that that or Mario Odyssey or Zelda, I think, are excellent, like, must-have title like switch if you have a switch you have to have those games yeah i think mario odyssey is super accessible it's very pick up and play but also epic um, yeah beautiful a lot of hours out of it that game is long that is probably the the longest mario like that is so much fun though like it is it did not get old for me no nope you see i haven't i haven't picked that up but i'm gonna my son's already mentioned that he i think he wants it for his birthday in, in may so you know, that's the how else can you let Mario run around in his undies? And yeah. he, that was the, I think that was one of my favorite parts is you can change the outfits. They have so many different outfits. Yeah, that was a cool feature, and just a lot of personality. There's so many secrets. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's it keep you going for dozens of hours. So. Secret levels like the Star World, but they have a version of that. But it's on you know one of the last areas. I won't spoil it. It's sweet. So Zelda. I mean, if you're a fan of the series, mm-hmm. uh, definitely don't be afraid to dive in. Like it, it is challenging. There, there are. It is surprisingly challenging. I think in the um, beginning, yeah, when yeah. you're just starting out, it's not. And don't expect it like a normal Zelda game going into it. Don't like last game you played that was Zelda was like Wind Waker or you know Ocarina of Time and Jorah's Mask. Or any of the other mainline Zelda games. Don't expect that. It's a totally different experience. The only thing that really bummed me out about it was that there's really no Zelda music with it. There's not a lot of, no you know, this it's is different. Yeah, it's, there's, it's more minimalist. Exactly. It's a lot of piano. Very backgroundy, very smooth, melodic. It's a bit like the, they wanted to go for, you know, you're out in the wild, you're exploring this world, and it's very scenic. It's very atmospheric. It's not kind of like, hey, this is the game. You're, you know, 
go do this. This is all the set piece. It's like, just go. You can go do whatever. I did out of, I did it like very out of order when I first played. I went straight there from. There is no order, really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there you can do are, however there you are want. enemies that are more difficult, and there's probably a smarter way to go through progressing the game, but you can do, there's four main dungeons. You can do them in any order. Mm hmm. Uh, there's over 100 shrines to find across the map. You can do those pretty much as you see fit. So yeah, as long as you can find them. And if, if that you... doesn't overwhelm you, then go for it. You got to try it anyway. But anyway, mm -hmm. next part of the question. Before we jump towards the next question, um, we got one person in here. Um, Crisis Trucks, thank you for following. Appreciate you know, it. he just told me who he thank is. You. I was going to take try and take a guess, but thank you, Meshach, man. You're dope. You're the best. <laughs> Keep making those jerk, jerk jack fruit. Tacos. Okay, Ooh, that's him. That's him. That's oh, him. I keep telling you guys about, about him. him. Yeah, they Ooh. sound so good. You've heard yes. a lot about you. So he he's dope. You know, very very. He loves video games as well. You know, I'm surprised we haven't games with him yet. Mm -hmm. I think he's he might be afraid of us in Smash Brothers. <laughs> don't you know? be. Trust me, it's okay. Yeah, don't be. <laughs> he, he hasn't shown up. Kenny yet, wiretaps course, anyways. Yeah. He's you know. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he, heard, he got the idea from Lenny two time. He's just like okay. <laughs> he's like man, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this whole ruse. Uh, Comcast is gonna come out of the house. And he's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> um. He did say. He did ask. If we heard about the guy who beat Breath of the Wild without walking, without walking, I think so I've seen that video. Walking? So what did yeah. he do? Just use his momentum, like launching himself off. Yeah, he's like momentum, and you know how you can Stasis. jump. And you jump and you move forward. He just jumped a bunch. <laughs> yeah, everything. Well, jumping counts as walking. No, he didn't walk a step. He just jumped. It doesn't count so, because so, okay, that's so he just jumped like straight up. Like he didn't do like a jumping forward jump. Well, well, yeah, he jumped forward, but he's not walking. Yeah, because he, it'd be, so it's different move, okay. a different sure action. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it's awesome. I mean, you have to check out, I'm, yeah, if it's the video I'm thinking of, because it definitely gets a lot easier when you get Rivali's Gale, when you have that, like, jump power where you just, like, mm -hmm. So he only front hopped and back flipped. Uh, that's insane. Wow. That is wild. There's still so many cool things that are probably still to be discovered yeah. in that game just because of the, the, the physics. Like, I saw a really cool... Like GIF that somebody shared on Facebook of somebody fighting one of those big spider bosses. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the Guardians, yeah, the Guardians, and somehow was able to launch him like 400 feet in the air by making some other object move under it, and then like, oh yeah, I saw that. You saw it, and then the Guardian yeah. came back like tumbling over the mountain, like just, just trying to get his revenge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check so, that out. That's so great. I, I get the person also did a no left turns one and like a bunch of other different ones for different runs. Does he? I, th I wonder if he has. Does he have that whole channel where it's like, can you beat X game without doing this, or it's like, can you beat Pokemon without battling? And he also beat Gandor with one arrow. That's got to be one really well placed arrow. He that's must have. Fun. He must have had to glitch it till you get to that one spot because that's how you mm -hmm. like the end of the game. Is that's all you have to do with Zelda? Is like, Rrr. right? She so gives you the bow and it's like, just shoot the guy, and you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you guys finish that one? No, nope. mm -hmm. I be, I loved okay. it so much. I I, have I beat it on Wii U and then bought it again for Switch. Oh, uh, I actually I've only played it on Wii U. Yeah, it's great. It looked great on Wii U. Yeah. So this I think is, it looked I amazing. It. I had a Wii U. I didn't have a Switch until um, Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah, and um, so yeah, that was how I went about it. Right. Like, That's I still whenever I see it on sale, I'm like, yeah, I should probably pick it up, and I, I will someday. It's just because I would. I got to experience it again someday, and I'm not playing Wii U probably ever again. No, there's really no... I don't know if there's any reason. I was going to say Wonderful 101. That's the only reason why I'd go back, but that's coming to Switch at some point. Yeah, you, you I mean, know, I'm sure there are some games. The only yeah. reason I would play the Wii U is because it plays Wii games, and there's plenty true. of Wii games okay. that are nice to revisit. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. That's true. So instead of picking up a, if you don't have a Wii, instead I, of picking yeah. up a Wii and you want to revisit some of those games, you have a Wii U already? There Get you that. go. That's true. Okay. Save you some time on buying another another console and mm -hmm. space. Right, right. And you can pick up those retro games. That's true. It does come with the vision bar and everything anyway. Exactly. So, Ant, I don't want to skip over this because mm -hmm. there's another new release that we failed to talk about so far this week. We're all big, or especially you guys. I'm, I'm sort of a budding anime fan. But anyway, My Heroes there. 1 Justice 2 came out. Mm -hmm. and it, it's good. It's it's a, a, a nice, way better than the first one. It's, you know, what you'd expect out of an anime fighter, though. It's yeah. uh, An anime arena fighter, right? Exactly. It's a 3D. You kind of can move around. You have a nice dash button. You have a guard button. Combos are super simple. Combos are pretty much, they depend on square and pretty much the direction you move, like up, you know, forward, back, left, right. And then you have your quirk special abilities with triangle or circle. And then uh, your special attacks are a combination of R1 and triangle or R1 and circle. What do the triggers do? The triggers, the R1 guards, and then 
What does R2 do? Oh, R2 and L2 call in your allies. You get two yeah, your sidekicks. Your assist. Oh, okay. So you're, it's a 3v3 fighter. Yep. Okay. But wow. you can't switch out. You have your main guy, and then these two, you just call in for assist. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, so Meshach is saying Red Riot is OP. He's awesome. I love Red I actually just bought him on the mission mode the other day, and it's oh, I love Red Riot. He's plus his character in the anime, too. He's just gone from, oh, yeah. like, here. Yeah, to his, his character development in the anime. After the most recent amazing. arc, too. Oh, oh, my God. So he's big in season four? Yeah, yes. he's, huge, he shines in season four. shines. Like, he gets a lot of screen time at the beginning of, of season four, yeah. like this first half arc. Mm-hmm. Um, this first arc, it, it looks great. Yeah, just yeah. as much as Deco, I think, if not more. He gets about it won't, like, just as and much. Fat Gum, yeah. which I was surprised. I love Fat yeah. Gum. Oh yeah, uh, I hope his... that forty-one character like roster is what has me like really. I I need to pick this game up. And every character feels like it's their, their own, own character, character rather character. than like kind of copy paste like move sets, which is the, how the first one felt. So the assist characters are they all playable characters mm-hmm. as well? So like yep. you can have Midoriya with, you know, or Oracho. And yep. Froppy. But that oh, yeah. play as Froppy and then have the other two be the. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. Yep. And all this depends how you set up your team. And you can customize, which is the other Ooh. sweet part. You can buy all the different cosmetics. Like, cosmetic items for them. Uh, yeah, I'm so a they sucker. look different. I'm a sucker you buy, for cosmetics. Oh, same. So you can get like. What are the uh, microtransactions like? Oh, there's none. No, you just it's all in-game currency grind, okay. which is okay. great. Which I was I was very scared about that That's too. That's perfect. I was like, so no, they, I don't. Want they kind of went with the Naruto route where everything yeah. was like just in-game currency grind. Yep, depending on like what grade you get mm-hmm. after different matches, you'll mm-hmm. get anywhere graded from like S to I haven't gotten haven't gotten below a B, but uh, it's like I think it's S <laughs> to like F or E, and you get kind of gold hero coins or whatever depending uh, on how well you do in each mission or match, and then you can use those coins to go into the shop to either buy like profile stuff for your like online card or for like character accessories and such or you can go and buy them coins for characters in mission mode which is kind of like a more oriented um kind of like how grand blues uh mode was it's mm-hmm. like you take on quests you do certain quests okay. and you kind of like basically it's like a match between maybe uh weird like old way better version of do you guys ever play dragon ball z budokai 2's story mode no. the crappy board game it was really no. crappy but it's like almost a board game mode where you start one panel you have to beat up all the villains in the panel on this web thing yeah. uh, with before they take down like the HP of the square that mm. they're on. Okay, gotcha. That's perfect. And your HP is uh, shared or not shared. Your HP stays uh, after every match, so you can't like mess up too much. Does it have online play? It does. Yes. Okay. You tried that yet? I haven't yet. I tried the first Probably day no. day release. <laughs> and, yeah, I was gonna say I was like I'm scarred. But I was like I'll go get it. But I tried the first day. And I think it was just probably because it was released, but I couldn't connect. Uh, so. All I'm, I'm, I need to know is how does my boy Infinite 100 percent that go play? I haven't played him yet. I've been saving it. I actually have to buy him in the for mission mode. He costs like two hundred thousand coins, and I have maybe be, five thousand. He must be OP. He looks awesome though. Yes. Like, and they have original Azuka, which is great too because they have, they shoot, have style. shoot style. Yep, original and one hundred percent. Oh my! Oh yeah. God. Wow. Yeah. And you can give him his cool little gym clothes. Though the, the clothes he fights Baku go in. So he can't just use his shoot style like with his other original moves. Like he can. Like, it's kind of like the same. It's weird because his shoot style. The only difference in the shoot style character and the original Azuka character is. The special attacks, because original one uses fist super attacks, and shoot style uses kick super attacks, mm-hmm. and he just has different feet accessories on, pretty much. So okay. do we have? Do, does he? Does he still have his his flick? Oh yeah, he does. He actually has the flick with uh, original, think, original and one hundred. Yes. Yep. So and then the circle, I think, is the only one that's different. The circle quirk, because circle, I think, is just the punch okay. with the regular regular one, and then it's like a weird kick for a shoot style. Okay, but yeah, it's that's what my favorite was like. I love because I love mm-hmm. the snap. The, yep. the, that's Delaware. Yeah, yep. I'm oh. sure you got the physical version of this, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So yep. I was gonna say maybe if you guys set up that game share for PlayStation, you've been talking about. It's yeah, true. Yeah. I know we could. Well, I mean, we could do the controller share if they still have it, like what we did with Bloodborne. I'm just saying if you guys thing. wanted to stream it this week or something. True. Yeah. Nah. Tits. But maybe Kenny will just buy it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, so another big release that we. Didn't barely get to talk about last week. I know that Kenny and Tyler have been messing around with a lot. Oh, yes. Call of Duty Warzone. Give me your impressions because oh, boy, yeah. I've only played like two games and do not feel qualified to talk about it. I watched it. I was like, I don't know. I'm not going to this I mean, one. Too serious. Too serious. Not enough anime. What are the yeah, boobs? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is pretty serious, and it took me a while to really get used to the to the flow and the rhythm of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I, the first couple, or probably like the first five or so matches I played, as soon as I saw another person, they just like destroyed me. Like, what am I doing wrong? And it really is very tactical. You have to like stay with your team and yep. 
crouch if you don't want to make any any noise while you're moving like upstairs or through buildings and stuff like that mm -hmm. um figuring out what weapons and loadouts you like and stuff like that how do you think the time to kill is because like i that's what my concern is was going to a battle royale is usually you, it's the game's just too frustrating if you're playing for 10 minutes and you die in two seconds like happens mm -hmm. in the campaign I mean, in the, in the regular multiplayer. I know that there's a shield system now akin to something like Apex and Fortnite. Is that working for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's yeah. fine. Um, it is a satisfying sound because, you know, that it's got a pretty good tutorial, I think. Um, yeah, you're, that, rip, you're ripping it on. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. putting it on and the sound when you're shooting it and then you hear it break. It's like, yep. Ooh. And it has a nice little, like, icon on, on screen. Like, it'll once it's broken completely, mm -hmm. it'll it'll have a blue broken icon that comes up. So you know that you broke that, that person's shield. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're, you're damaging it when you see the white armor icon. So, you know, he has a armor mm -hmm. which, and you're damaging it slowly. Once it fully breaks, it go it like, it's like a blue, yeah. blue broken icon that comes like, on, on in the middle of the screen, like real small. Do you have to get more to re up it or does it automatically after a certain? No, you have like... to pick up armor. Piece. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So That's cool. I think, I, I think last week we were yeah. talking about it slightly. When I said your your health didn't regenerate, but you your you, I mean you have your health and you have your armor. Your health does regenerate after like a, regular after a short right, period of right. time. But your health is is it's, not very big. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. Honestly, like you have no armor. That's you, like one two shots. Yeah, one two shots. You're mm. done. Gotcha. You're 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 not surviving much. Mm -hmm. Um, I did get my first win. I'm not sure if that happened prior to last week's episode I don't or think after. So, no, that's what's up. So, so I got my win. Um super super fucking satisf satisfying mm. because when you win you get like heli evac out with your with your team you guys hop into the helicopter and it shows everybody off and, and you, it shows all three of you guys on the helicopter just riding off and what well, does it give you a fun message like winner winner chicken dinner no it just looks like you just survived devastation like you the, all the did. gas just you know it's just like winter and then it's like boom gas com covering the whole war or the war escape like the whole map and you're just flying off like. i want to see that but somebody mods in the uh, dark souls like soul destroyed or whatever it was uh, and, you kill a boss. It, it rolls like a credits of yep. like all, all the people that have died, that died. Oh, you were raising your hand there tyler i was like you don't have to do that tyler schools canceled it, coronavirus it, dog it literally tells you everybody that died throughout the match with the credits you know that's that's kind of cool that actually is very yeah. cool I, I'm the one that you feel like you beat a game. I could put that in my list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to start playing it. Like, <laughs> technically, <laughs> you could. Yeah. It, it, yeah. The, the credits did roll when I won. But exactly. So there you go. You put the, it on your list of 15. The credit is more frustrating mm -hmm. when I make it to second place. Yep. Yeah. Because oh, the moment like, I see. get killed, they roll credits and I'm. <laughs> Furious, because that should be me in the heli evac. Yeah, I had two. <laughs> I've, I've been playing Fortnite still, and I had two uh, second place games this this week. That's where it's whew, especially one where like you see their health because it flashes to their point of view, yeah. and they have like eighteen health left. And you're well, like, that sucks. Oh, if I could just aim a little bit lower. You get in the moment though. That's the part of the fun though, because it's like ah, you're, like freaking out. Yeah, it reminds me of Goldeneye. I did have a win nice. as well. So uh, yeah, got at least two this season, mm -hmm. and just enjoying it, knocking out all the challenges. I really think it's super smart what they did this this um, this battle pass. They have one character that every week a new part of her you get to customize by doing a pretty easy easily doable challenge. Okay. So it's something that I, I like. And you can use it forever. Yeah, you can use it forever. That's cool. Yeah. So like you you know last week I was I chose her boots and like the first week was her tattoo or first week was her hair, second week was tattoos, and then it's so like by the end it's you know pretty you know not one in a not one of a kind but yeah. it's, it's it's customizable to you as opposed to like i'm gonna buy the banana skin but it's like i also have the banana skin yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so that's been that's been a good time just that that's kind of my turn off my brain don't don't want to think mm -hmm. any more game but even though i'm getting pretty good nice see that's like nice. the, i have to think with that game too because i'm like where is everybody They're just like oh i gotta pay attention like what's going on what's around me because like i hate it like i hate i love playing that game but i just hate it when you're like i don't know 15 minutes into a match and then out of nowhere you can't see it coming you just that happens shot less and less the more you play. Yeah. And like yeah. one thing I will say, um, playing Warzone, the limited time that I had, one of the coolest things that it does is that right away off the bat, the thing that distinguishes it from our battle royale is when you're using your parachute, you don't inst you don't automatically or you don't adequately automatically do your parachute. You no. have to manually press it, which is like you don't want to like and it does teaches you that I think in the tutorial it's like mm -hmm. you, you don't want to hit the ground like that, do you? Yeah. yeah. No, it's cool so it doesn't hold your hand with that. It's like, all right, just go. It, it kinda still does because if you, your first par like first deployment of the parachute, if you don't 
deploy it and you get to a certain like height. It'll do it for you. It'll do it for you. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. But if you deploy it and cut it, it won't redeploy automatically. If you oh. get to a certain thing and you forget to redeploy it. Oh boy! I totally right. thought that it wouldn't automatically deploy. It so it does it on the second shoot uh, on the second pull. Mm-hmm. It doesn't redeploy automatically, okay. and I've had people who forget and, and they are just bonk that like oh, okay. your friend, your teammate's been sent to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? You forgot to redeploy? Yeah, man, my bad. <laughs> I was looking at my phone. It, it is something that like you, they're used to a Fortnite at Apex. You mm-hmm. just automatically and, float on down. And for me, like I've I've gotten even gutsy where like it, like I don't do it much because I'm trying not to attract too much attention when I'm dropping, but if I'm dropping and it's a hot drop and it's a lot of people. I'll pull. I'll pull my first one. I'll cut it and then I'll start aiming my pistol and trying to take people out in mid air. Oh, that's cool. And I'll just try that while floating down, try and see if I could get a kill before before I even hit the ground. Do you start with a pistol? Yeah, yeah everybody me. starts with a pistol right off right off rip. Mm-hmm. Um, I Which could say that suck as usual in Call of Duty. I mean, whoa, well, honestly, I will say last night, me and my brother Anthony. We took out five people oh. with just pistols. Like we dropped. Well, that's all and, they had. And yeah, if five. It was two against five. There was one, two different squads, and we were just in there murdering people with with pistols. And we got out of that fight. And our third was like, "What's going? You guys okay?" I'm like, "Motherfucker, where are you?" Yeah. We just <laughs> wiped out two squads with pistols. Nothing else. Where were you? That's awesome. Like it was like frantic. I've never seen something so frantic because it was like just right in the action. Because then I, it was a, came to a point where I had, we both had no armor, so practically we were getting pegged with like these bullets. And you see our health, and then I'd hide, and I'm like, "Yo, he has no armor. Where is he?" I'd have to call it out. Then mm-hmm. he'd come take out that guy. Then one person would roll up on him. I'd have to back him up. It was very frantic, and we got out of that. And I was like, "Wow." Yeah. And we made that. That's the one match we were like after. Killing five people with pistols, we have to we have to win, and we came out second place in that match. Ah, bummer. You know that would have been the clutch one. What like, about you, Tyler, you got a W yet? No, nah, no Ws. I think the best I've done so far is fifth place. Oh, nice. Um, well, there's 150 player or so what 50 yeah. teams of three. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and, and and think if you think about it, like people get second chances pretty easily by winning a match in the gulag. So people are. Constantly like in and out, and mm-hmm. I think that's the, the, the games uh, last so long. It does seem because, a little almost overkill, right? I mean, yeah, a game game all the way up to top ten can last about thirty minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes? I mean, thirty minutes is a lot. Twenty all, minutes I can get all depending on the circle as well. Like if the circles, because sometimes the circle will just cover the whole map, and at that point in time, that's you know that's going to be a long match. Because anybody could just drop anywhere, and they're in the circle. So it in, in, the, in the beginning, in the beginning, so it changes the sides, but it literally does, gives you the strategic landing of just landing wherever the hell you want mm-hmm. at that point. Whereas in if it's all the way to the bottom right corner, I'm telling whoever I'm dropping with, like we're dropping as close to the bottom edge okay. of it, so that because I like try and stay semi near it. So I have so that I can loot as much as I could go out and loot as much as I want and kind of still be on the edge. I don't like being dead set in the middle because once once you loot what you can and if you survive the middle drop, you really Get don't out. got you don't got much to do. You know, mm-hmm. like you're everybody's encroaching on you. And if you don't have a sniper, if you're not good with the snipers, you're already at a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I think um, it might be a little bit too just frantic for me. Because like I, I really liked and I of course need to give it more of a shot, but just the way I felt after playing COD for a couple matches, I went and played Fortnite, and it was like drinking a glass of cold water afterwards. Mm, it was a nice like, refresher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like, ah, I'm and, landing, and look at all these pretty colors. And, 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 oh, look truly, all this nice. I think Tyler can, can attest to this. What it comes down to is playing by yourself, mm-hmm. and that's why it's going to feel that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. This war zone is not meant to be played without talking to your teammates. True. Mm. Okay. It's something that um sounds like t- almost akin to like SOCOM or SOCOM game. Where exactly because um Tyler could tell you like we jumped in our first match jumping in together, I ripped through like four people right away. 
but it was like i was like all right we're moving like i'm not i'm not leaving you by yourself mm-hmm. i'm like trying to make sure you're moving with me or if you're going somewhere i'm like all right i'm following i'm right be- i'm right behind yeah because i know all it takes is you getting jumped by two people mm-hmm. and you're down so that puts me at a disadvantage because i'm down a teammate right so i'm never trying to move without without each other right mm-hmm. like we were like we were about to hit these people on this rooftop and we were just moving up the staircase like super super tactical like we were in there, we had full loadouts. We really didn't have to do any looting. And I was like, oh, once we had like floor seven or eight, I was like, all right, guys, crouch. We're, I'm not trying to make noise going up the stairs. So we were crouching and we're taking a little wrong, but we were like, all right, we'll roll up on these guys. You know, they're not going to hear us. Mm-hmm. So, but they had already parachuted off. That's fine. They, <laughs> it, it is what it is. They, yeah. they got, they got away. But I think we still chased them um, another team down afterwards. And that's the good thing. Like, you know, once you get sometimes. The strategy is get up high, and then if the circle's closing, just parachute off, and then just hope that nobody pe- pegs you off mm-hmm. in the middle of the air. Um, but we are, we have been pretty good with it. I think the gulag is great because you get the same loadout as your opponent, and it's just a one v one. I was gonna say the gulag but, is a mode, right? No, yeah. it's a, it's a, not a mode. It's, no. it's part of the war zone. Yeah. Oh. So you, that's your way, your first try to get back in. Oh, okay. You can get to revive yourself. Okay. By winning a one v one match. That's oh, wow. so you're pretty much like dropped into a prison type thing. Yeah. It's like fight. Oh yeah, they, they, they gladiator they, style. They, they, dra- they drag you into the prison, throw you into a cell. You come out and they're like, oh, two matches until your fight. So wow. you go in, and I've actually got won a couple matches off of just grenade throws. Wow. Like literally, yeah. just I'll toss a, a a tactical one left, toss the lead the one right, uh, uh, right, right, and then that's it. Like call it a day. And then it's like, oh, get lucky like that. Out. And then. How big is the arena you fight in? Is it just a small, like. It's like a small small. bathroom. Like. (laughs) It literally is like a bathroom. That's crazy. Yeah. Really comes down to it. It's like the bullies in high school putting two of you guys into the the stalls and telling them fight. It's a two lane arena, pretty much, that is the size of Tyler's basement. Wow. Mm -hmm. Practically. Probably, yeah. A little bit higher ceilings. Uh, higher ceilings, <laughs> but more showers. Yeah, <laughs> they got they got the TP in the middle that you get to capture. You know, it's perfect. TP in the middle. TP yeah. in the middle. The flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. I like that. Live games are gonna start making like TP be the most like right? powerful collectible. Hey, honestly, I can see Fortnite having it'll, their it'll, little because they did the Thanos so Gauntlet thing. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, yeah. they probably would do like, oh, it's the like gum wrapper or something like that but it'd probably be like oh hey this is toilet paper but it's not mm-hmm. yep. they're, gonna, they're gonna make the health bazooka into a toilet paper bazooka <laughs> yeah <laughs> that'd be good oh they already kind of have it with the bandages right exactly yeah, well, by all means the bandages look like tp they do yeah, a little bit yeah i can see that so i definitely would recommend wiley if you're gonna try warzone again let us know Wait, yeah, okay we'll because yeah. i don't yeah, recommend it by us. yourself because mm-hmm. tyler, tyler could tell you we it was complete different experience yeah. trying to uh, rolling together um and just talking and you know i i, I, I had already i had already put in like for life. 15 hours of warzone at this point i think when i was playing with tyler so i would kind of like just point man at that point mm-hmm. and just like all right let's hit these houses let's get go here all right you sound like very effective trick or treaters battle pass like <laughs> i didn't even buy the battle pass yet but if i bought it right now i'd be at 45 holy wow fuck. they just put you there damn Nice. That's how much of it I bought. Wow. I've nice, played man. so far. That's like, pretty impressive. I'm, I've been going hard. That's kind of the coolest thing about it. If you at that point you're really enjoying the game, it's like, well, if I oh, yeah. buy it, then I just get to enjoy Do it that you, much more. So, so I bought season two's battle pass, and I think that's still going on in the original. Yeah, twenty one more days. Okay, so does that apply to Warzone? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh wow! Wow. The battle pass. Yeah. So the battle. So they're not two separate battle passes. No. Oh. Same battle pass. Nice. Okay. So that's so, good. Um, wow. Okay, I'll just I'll, I'll look at it when I get home. Yeah, mm-hmm. look at it because See, it because might, might have some the, are they same unlockables? Same unlockables. It's this. It's one battle pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't, yeah, there's like not a second a separate battle pass to buy. It's like the loadouts you can make are all the same loadouts that you've unlocked. In, yeah. So you can game and... you can call in load your loadout I from did, the regular game. Yeah. yeah. I did. Um. So which is cool. Now you can have ten loadouts, and do you know the blueprints that you can unlock through channel missions? Mm-hmm. Yep. Those are the legend. Those are actually the legendary guns that you find in game. Oh, okay. So, so those you are just the find those in a in, in a, a box. In a box. Okay. So you'll find the Piercer MP7, which is one of the ones you get from one of the missions that you could do. Yeah. Um, you can find that in a loot box, but that's just a rare one. So it's a, it's only three dots. Um, the chem. I love the chemical FAO mm-hmm. thing. Is nasty like i get that in my hands and i'm promising you four kills Dang. okay <laughs> four kills right off rip and that one is a legendary one so that one's one of the best ones you can find 
in a box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so it does really well with these loot boxes, the in-game challenges that you could do, like recon missions and bounties. I love the bounties. They put a bounty on a target. Just any so, random player? Right, any random player, and it'll tell you where they are generally on the map. Does everybody get it, or you get a special specific one to you? I get that mission because I picked it up. Okay. Like if I pick up a bounty mission, I get to hunt down this player. If I kill that player, every single person on my team gets $3,000. Wow. Mm. So it's like, okay, let's get this, because then if we need to buy any kill streaks mm-hmm. and things like that, like the only kill streaks you could buy are like the UAV, um, the airstrike or cluster strike, or the shield turret. Okay. So it does. It's pretty good in that aspect. That it's you know you not after ten kills you get a kill streak. No, you gotta buy these things. Okay. And That's even at that, kind of like a MOBA esque thing. Even at that, it's not even. It might not even be too effective because these maps are so big that you might call in an airstrike. It's not, not really gonna do too much for you. Right. You know those are huge. Yeah. Because but yeah. the maps you're saying it seems giant. Oh yeah, these things are giant. Um, but I definitely recommend it. I if and I see. It's, it's free. free try. Yeah. Pretty hey. dope. And I recommend that everybody, once again, PS Plus title. Did you grab that combat pack with P- because of PS Plus? Uh, the free bundle? Thing? Yep. Yeah, I got that. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, I do, do want to remind anybody on, that's playing on PlayStation, if you got your PS Plus, pick up the free bundle with PS Plus because it's not for Xbox, so I lucked out there. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just download it on, on PS4 <laughs> for the bundle. Yeah. I've yeah. been I've been going off on Xbox. Oh, and it's fair God. and it's Crossplay, obviously. Yes, just it is. like the original Modern Warfare, or mm-hmm. you know what I mean, the the yep. new Modern Warfare. Speaking of PlayStation related things, I thought this was something that was pretty exciting. We have rumors of Sony Interactive Entertainment working on a pair of Silent Hill titles, and as well as purchasing the I, the rights to Castlevania uh, and Metal Gear, and of course Silent Hill from Konami. Um, so a little bit more details here. The report states that Silent Hill has been in development for a year now and that, oh gosh, Mr. Toyama, Mr. Yok- Yama- Yamaoka will return to the project. These are people that worked on the original series. As for Silent Hills, the Hideo Kojima directed horror title starring Norman Reedus has apparently resumed talks between both Konami and the PlayStation giant and they are looking to be all ready to go. This is from the source Jack of All Controllers. Apparently they've had some, uh, success with their leaks in the past do take this with a grain of salt it is a rumor at this point nothing's been confirmed but yeah they're likely going to be ps5 exclusives if this happens to be the case mm-hmm. um i wonder want to hear from you guys what you think about the direction that you'd like to see those franchises go is, is metal gear what you want to see kojima go back to like does a silent hills thing excite you do you think castlevania could be like essentially the uh remade to be a new bloodborne game that's what i was gonna say it could be actually very well i was gonna say is that part of the rumors that are swirling is that that is the that is what they want castlevania for Mm -hmm. is a bloodborne-esque title yeah just to you know to kind of round it out round it out bring back bring it full circle they want it Mm -hmm. in the vein of like almost like a lords of shadows yeah yeah that's like a god of war kind of thing but more souls like right like jedi fallen order Mm -hmm. but better Everything souls like a little bit these days. It is. It seems like I still got to play that anime one. What Code Vein? Yes, right, gotta check that. I'm sure that'll probably come to Game Pass. E- even Ori in the Blind, even Ori in the Will of the Wisps, the new game that I still haven't talked about. This show is so long and rambly now. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, yeah, yeah. So shit, I, I can't just talk about Ori now. That would be way too disorienting. Well, let's. Uh, if you want to prep something like that, do we finish answering Brandon's question? I don't think we got an accessory, and we didn't get the last one. <laughs> we got, we got, we trailed <laughs> off. I think. Listen, but we, it's okay. We, we went in circles. Accessories. Yeah. Pro controller. I, honestly, because yeah, I never, I don't have any accessories like no, that. I, mean, I have a little, a little case that no, came with the yeah, Mario. There one. are two absolutely essential accessories. Yeah. A screen protector. Yes. And a case. Yes. Other than that, pro it's, controller. All, it's all for fun. And pro, yes. and pro controller, right? because I feel like I'm living a whole, a whole other life since I bought my pro yeah, controller. Exactly. Okay. Well, I don't think that one's quite essential, but no. Mm-hmm. But so day, day, day one, yes. day one, not essential, but something to, to consider down the line. Yeah. And then what was the last? Oh, cartridge versus download. For cartridge. Me. Cartridge. Yeah, cartridge because uh, when you can, because Nintendo mm-hmm. games, uh, they keep their value for mm-hmm. a long time. Um, they do not take up nearly as much space on the hard drive, and the hard drive only comes with 32 gigs off the bat. 
I still have not upgraded mine yeah, somehow. Maybe, Accessories, maybe. Okay, I yeah, guess I'd say yeah. SD card as well then. So, um, yeah, oh yeah, yes, SD yeah. card. If you are planning on getting a good amount of digital stuff, you want to get uh, one of the mm-hmm. SD, micro SD cards. He right? did pick yeah. that up yep. though already. Oh, he did? Perfect. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Look at that. You're already all set. Yeah, he, he went above and beyond. I he hope got that an he SD didn't card. shut off the episode mad half an hour ago. <laughs> 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 Fuck these guys. <laughs> they only answered one question? Oh. That's, that's where we I get know, the hook. Getting up to an hour and a half, so Ooh. whatever you guys uh, want to do. What, what, we do lightning round. Lightning round. <laughs> fast. Throw us at us fast, Wiley. Talk about uh, we can do uh, lightning Ori and the blind guy, or what is it, whatever it's called. Forest. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. Lightning round. Go. Lightning round. Seems really good so far. Uh, seems much more combat oriented than the first one, which can be a neat thing. Definitely influenced by Hollow Knight. It's got things that are just like the charms. You can collect 40 of them. The game has literal side quests, uh, which you don't usually see in a Metroidvania, where you like highlight on the map and go investigate things, and that seems real cool. Seems like it's pretty difficult. I've died probably about 20 times in my first three hours. So, light round, light round. He, was with the, he was going with the light on beat. Uh, so, round out the thoughts on this. Yeah, no, you haven't been too far into it. No, I'm only, you know, 10% it says on the uh, front screen when I load it up, uh, and... Very strong first impressions. Running a little bit, so so. Frames can be a little framey. Um, but, but you're playing. But you're playing on the old, on the one S. Okay. One S. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think it's right up my alley. I did just finish Iconoclast, so I was a little worried jumping back into another Metroidvania. But they're pretty different, and mm-hmm. it is and like it. It's very inspired by Hollow Knight, which you know came out in between the first Ori and this one. And I think it's better for it. The combat is already vastly improved. It's much more responsive and snappy. Um, so that's yeah. perfect. So far, so good with Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And it's like killing it critically. That's at like 90 on Metacritic as well. So it's going to be a good week for games. Yeah. That's amazing. Heavy do, week. Do we have anything else we, uh, from news related that we got to throw into lightning round? Into lightning round. Uh, E3 was canceled, but everybody knows that. It happened mm-hmm. the day after the show last week. Yep. Um, yeah. I predicted it on the show. I so we right. got some big PlayStation announcements coming tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. PS5 reveal, I believe. PS5 reveal when everybody's stuck at home, nothing else yeah. to do except great, for great planning on their part. Just, uh-huh. Is it though? Like I, I'm having doubts that these consoles are coming out this year with all these delays. Honestly, I think I'd have to probably agree with you on that. At least yeah. that we can definitely, I think, expect a delay. So the way I look at it is this: I think Microsoft might delay it, but they weren't expecting too many other other Xbox One X X Series X to be sold right off right away yeah. because they weren't making titles exclusive for it right for the first year or two. Hmm. So I think they'll delay it and just be like, hey, you know, we'll just keep um testing it and make sure that we. Put it through, through stress test and make sure if I figure out any bugs. And he's so a version we, of the red ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't want no red rings going to happen. Mm-hmm. Red box. <laughs> nope. Breaking, breaking $800 console. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if anyone's around and we want to hop on Discord or something and do a little live reaction. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. Maybe we could do that um, tomorrow and do that. Uh, when that, When is that dropping? Um, look it up. I think it's later in the afternoon. Okay, we'll 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 talk de- was, we'll talk details. At nine a.m. We'll oh, talk. Is that nine? We'll I, talk I details know. after the show. Yeah. I think um, I might, I think I saw a tweet from like Europe, like UK PlayStation account. So mm. you're wrong. Why we're gonna be announcing the PlayStation Five? Mm. I hope that's what he said. So I think that might be the end of lightning round because we don't have much else on the docket, right? <laughs> I love that. We got a new feature called lightning round. It's what- we need, we need to wrap it up. Blab it on. So, Wiley, you want to take us away with the outro? Sure. All right. This has been the Level With You show. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. We really appreciate it. We hope you and your loved ones are doing well during this time of uncertainty and sort of fearfulness around uh, the country and beyond. Um, so, best of luck and thanks for watching. Check out our content on Twitch. Um, it's at noon our time tomorrow. It's at noon Eastern Standard Time US. So I'll hopefully we'll still take have our a lunch job. break and we'll do some live reacts in the Discord. Details from joining the Discord are in the video description. Um, Down below. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for listening. Uh, feel free to write in. Any way you can reach us, you can be featured on the show. Uh, if you want to play Super Smash with us on Sunday, we'd be love, love to have you. Um, check us out twitch.tv slash level with you if anybody has anything else I think we're ready to sign off stay safe 
stay healthy. All right, guys. Help out people in your neighborhood if you can. Be safe, but also help others. Don't be all greedy. Yeah, share be a good te- boy. Share the TP. Or a girl. Share the TP. Share the TP. The TP. Share the TP. Right. Hashtag share the TP. Love you. Bye. A level. Hey.